channel folks big bear rc welcome to part two of my armor infraction gt build now in the previous installment part one we took a look at the carbon fiber scorched rc gt chassis for the armor infraction which is what i've got um this also fits the felony and the limitless we installed all the chassis plates then we took a look at the Rotolock 25mm motor mount and the Pinocchio spool kit which comes with the two centre drive shafts which go into the output gears I think they're called or out, output cups that go into the diffs so beautiful machinery beautiful beautiful things I mean even the in fact it's got scorched etched into there is just unbelievable um so <clears throat> in the post i received some more bits now <clears throat> we we got a box now when you get a box from scorched it's a good day so what did we get in this box so we got titanium yes titanium dog bones and these weigh nothing i mean nothing and the engineering and craftsmanship in these is mind-boggling um unbelievable absolutely unbelievable quality um staggered again we got titanium cvds which again weigh nothing and it, it's just unbelievable craftsmanship um unbelievable we got some cups drive cups which will replace the standard armor ones just before you go into the differentials at the end of the center drive shafts so they're really 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 well made i'm blown away by the quality of scorch parts they are if you haven't seen them just look at them um they quality craft shit everything everything i know i keep going on about it but even the customer service the delivery times the updates you get everything about scorch parts is a winner um they're brilliant so we got carbon fiber front and rear shock towers which are really thick like the originals and way next to nothing which is great for a speaker and we also got a carbon fiber front splitter now this one is for the toyota gt1 shell from delta plastics um it's not the standard one it's a different shape and this fits perfectly on the delta plastics usa toyota shell and it's gonna look awesome it's again machine brilliantly um weighs next to nothing and it's going to replace the flimsy from plastic one um so what we're going to do um <clears throat> i'm going to take all these wonderful parts and we're going to install them on the carbon fiber chassis with the next installment of the the build so i'll be putting the differential covers on um with all the wheels and everything i'll be installing the cvds and dog bones i can't install it all because i'm waiting on some diff lockers um so i can't obviously fit the dog bones because they'll just fall out but we'll fit the caps we'll fit the shock towers the front brace and i'll attach the cvds to the front axles and we can take a look from there but this build is really really coming on quick and it's gonna look good i hope um hope everybody's interested to see this it's it's not a, a build video as in i'm gonna go through every single thing and show you how to build this car i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna show you snippets of what i'm getting what i'm putting in and what we achieve in the end so hopefully it'll be helpful to a lot of you guys out there or just interesting because that's what this channel is about it's not about you know look at everything it's about interesting content and and fun so we're going to get these installed 
big shout out to David at Scotch Parts and we will flip that and all this lovely goodiness will be on the car as well as the carbon fiber chassis no cross spool and motor mount everything will be on there including most of the running gear so yeah so obviously youtube's a great thing click my fingers and you'll be able to see it all installed so here we have it the armor infraction gt build this is the stage two so we've got the carbon fiber center brace on there we've got the spool and the motor mount we've got the titanium shafts fitted now and the cups at either end the titanium shafts go into we have got titanium cvds in there that are fitted to the axles but they're not fitted because i haven't got the diff lockers yet um need to be ordering them we've got the carbon fiber shock towers in there fitted wicked look great grp s7s are on there at the moment not sure if i'm going to keep these on but they're the only set of wheels i've got for this car at the moment probably go with gone banana foams um this lead is for a led that's on the rear of the diffuser that i fitted to that piece so that when it's going away you can see the rear end and differentiate between front and rear we've got all the running gear on and it's it's looking good we've got the carbon fiber gt1 front splitter on still unsure of what i'm going to do with the shocks whether i'm going to up the fluid weight and maybe use bump stops um not too sure yet i need to look into it more but if any of you guys want to give me some some tips on the the shocks for these bearing in mind it is my first proper full-on gt speed build um take any criticism and any any help that i can get as long as it's constructive um then that's great so we've got some more parts on order we've got um the braces here i've got some metal ones come in I'm gonna order the diff lockers which will get all the drive gear running I need to work out how I'm going to mount the batteries, whether I'm going to use the stock holders or some custom ones, whether I'm going to run both batteries one side, ESC and motor the other side. I need to get a servo mount and a new servo, thinking Savox. But then again, any of you guys want to chirp in and tell me one that's better than a, a Savox. I mean, it is literally just going to be for speed runs. So if the stock one's fine, then that's great um but if you want to help me out and educate me on something that may be a bit better then appreciate that we've got an eight mil mod one on there ready that's that's fitted and waiting to go everything is lot tighted up we've kept the um infills there i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them on but um they're on there for now We've countersunk the screws on the carbon fiber GT1 splitter. And it, it's looking awesome. Loving it. Absolutely loving this. Um, like I say, a few more bits to come uh, before I even look at ESC and motor. I already know what I'm putting in. 99.9%. .9%. I know what ESC I'm putting in, should I say. Just got to work out what motor I'm going for. I, th I think I know what motor I'm going for, but... I changed my mind like the weather so yeah so if you've got any any ideas any any information any better solutions for batteries if you know any battery trays servo holder servos um battery combinations motors anything you want to do to give me a, a jump start and help me sort of progress this build a bit more then you know i am all ears so thanks for watching guys like share subscribe smash the bell you all know what to do check out my other videos i'll leave a link in the description to part one of this so you can see where we started off and where we're at now um and thank you very much for watching hope you guys are all well take care and have a great remember if you like what you see 
subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified of any future videos.